Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Google Docs using tables. So I never understood why would somebody want to use a table in a word processing file? Why wouldn't they just go use a spreadsheet for that? Well, you know, you might be, uh, you might have a report that you're doing in Doc, and it might be interesting to, you know, pop in a table with data to make it, you know, more understandable. And more interesting, right. I suppose. Yeah. Okay. There's yeah, you're a lot right. of reasons why you might use them. Um, and also, I will show you that you can also do a little bit of page design. You oh. know, it doesn't have to look like such a boring, uh, they usually just like look like outlines, but you right. can make, give it a little more jazz to your page. All right. Well, let's take a look then. So first I'm going to go over to my drive and get my glasses on. We are middle-aged, right? No, no. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to uh, go into our video outlines here and using tables. I'm going to open um, one that I have, which looks like a typical Google document. Okay? Right. Okay. You've got a logo at the top yep. and just some type running yep. in line. I'm going to change my view here so we can see more of it. Maybe that's too small right here. Okay. Okay. So, you know, it's a little, it's a little formatted a little bit. It's got a nice logo and I've, you know, worked on my type a little bit, but a basic Google document. Right. And this is our, our upcoming seminars. Okay. So, um, first of all, we're going to show you to put a simple table in. So I've, um, on here I've listed our upcoming seminars and now I want to insert a table um, to show the dates and locations. Oh, perfect. And, and times. So uh, wherever you have, I just inserted my cursor, wherever that is, is where the table will go in. Okay. All right. So to insert So you don't draw the table, you insert it. Nope, you don't draw it. Okay. Uh, you insert your cursor and then you go up to your menu to table. Okay. Makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. The table menu. Then okay. insert table. Right. And then oh, over that? here, pops over to the right, is how many rows <clears throat> and columns you want. Okay. So it goes from one to one all the way, you know, oh, wow, it keeps going. <laughs> I never know it keeps going, my gosh. So I'm going to do a table that's three by three. So you, um, you can do some pre-thinking about your table, mm -hmm. you know, how many rows and columns am I going to have, or you can just start with one, and I'll show you how you can add columns and rows if you need them later. Perfect. But I know I'm going to want three by three. So I click on that. Now you can see it pops up a table, and here's your your uh, columns, and these are your rows, okay. just like a spreadsheet. Just like a spreadsheet. And then the little boxes, individual boxes, are called cells, just like a spreadsheet, right? Okay. okay. And wherever your cursor is blinking, that's where you your insertion. Yeah, there. right. Where okay. you're active. All right. So um, first, what <laughs> I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to show you, you can put um, text or graphics in your cells. Oh. So um, I've given my 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 uh, table a little, a little bit of thought and I know I'm going to want to put our logo right here. Okay. So, oh no. Yeah. So I'm going to insert a logo. So it's just like putting a picture anywhere in your Google Doc. You go to insert. Insert. All right. Image. And then it brings up, you know, your typical Google um, image selecting area where you can do by your albums or you could search the internet or from your computer. Okay. Ours is in our drive. All right. So I'm going to go there. Find our picture, our logo. Well, you know, I already have the logo at the top of the page. I'm going to try putting a picture of our oh, seminars. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Great idea. Give them a little flavor of our seminars. And then it's going to come in. Okay. Okay. Great. So there's our picture. Now, um, with an image in a cell, there's several things you can do. Um, if I select on it, um, oh, this is interesting. Um, this down, if I, you know, click on it so it's selected. Mm -hmm. This is wrap text or break text. If I had text in the cell too, like if I was doing a newsletter and maybe putting a picture in it, right? you could choose to wrap the text around, it? around the picture uh -huh. or break it, which okay. would mean it would go text, break for the picture, and then pick up your text. Okay, cool. So that's a good feature. Um, another thing that we can uh, show here is um, something that, is called cell padding. Okay. So you can see it's right here, um, the alignment. I just want you to notice that. Now I'm going to go to tables and properties. Uh -huh. And I'm going to show you when you open it up, first of all, there's a general, you, you can put a border around the whole table. It defaults to a black yeah. one point. Okay. Right. 
And um, I suggest to leave it <clears throat> on as you're working, even if you know in the end maybe you're not going to want your border. Okay, okay. Leave it on because otherwise you can't see the cells. It's oh. not like it puts like a gray line so you know that they're there. But, okay. So okay. leave that on. Um, but for the alignment of what's in the cell, you can see this is cell background color. You could change the color here. Okay. Of just the background. All I'm right. going to make that black so it kind of fills that picture in. Okay. All right. Um, and you can do cell alignment. So I'm going to do that in the center, okay? All right. You could do it at the top of the cell or the bottom of the cell. Okay, perfect. And um, then over here, I'm going to show you this later, dimensions. Okay. Table alignment is where it is on the page. All right. And I always suggest to make that centered. Okay. And it's also going to work off your page margins. All right. All right. So... Um, it'll go, you know, it won't, it'll center from your page margin. So if you have an okay. inch on the left and an inch and a half on the right, it'll center in between okay. that. So you can't pick this up and move it around. Nope. So this is kind of how you decide where it's okay. going to be. And then you work with your page margins. Okay. Okay. And hitting return <laughs> yeah. to go up and down and things yeah. like that. Okay. Okay. So that's what I want to show you there. So you can see now, if I click away, this is centered. Board. And yep. it's, you know, we can zoom in on this chart as long as we're working. It'd be easier to see, Oh, right? yeah, definitely. There we go. There we go. That's probably nicer. Right. So um, that was that. Um, and then if I click on this again and I go up here. Can you change the size of the picture? Yes. You can scale it. Oh, that's what the handles are. Yep. Okay. See. Yes, and you can see if I go like that, it's bumping my cell bigger, made right, this bigger. Right, right, exactly. Okay. <clears throat> so there's different ways that you can do your cells. You could move. Oh. Freeform. Freeform. Yeah. Get over a vertical or horizontal line. Now it's not going to let me go up because of the pictures there, but I can go down. Okay. 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 Or <clears throat> you can select your table and go to that back here. Whoops. I select the table. Yeah, you gotta select the whole table. Huh? Yep. Copy through it. And then go up here and go to table properties. And then here you could do your columns. Oh, I see. So I have the whole thing selected. It's gonna make every column the same width. All right. And I like that, so I'm gonna leave that there. You might you have a layout where you might want a left column to be two inches and the right column to be six inches. You know, okay. so this is where you can control it. Sure. If I just had one column selected. And that would be, be here. Just that one column. So you can do it freehand or you can do it in here. Okay. And you could also do a minimum row height. Okay. Uh, if you didn't want it to get too small or whatever. All right. Oh, and then this is that cell padding that I was going to show you before. Okay. <laughs> Which I didn't actually show you. You didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> but that is, that sounds right. cell padding, like arena gel, a jail, so or what is that? It's whatever the <laughs> image is. Yeah, right. Or the tags. <laughs> You're in jail. <clears throat> well, if you... um. It's from the, the left side and the top of the cell, where your text is going to start or where your image is going to be placed. Oh. So it defaults to 0. 0.69. If I put it, I'm going to just do something extreme, do 0. 0.25. And okay. that's in inches. I'm going to do that. And then you look. See how oh, it bumped that over? I see. So it's not really inside either. It's top left and... Right. And <laughs> yep. It's top left, really. Right. Top and left. So okay. You, yeah. Yeah. So... Goofy. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cell padding. Right. So I'm going to do command Z and just get rid of that because I, right. like, I look crazy. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep. Okay. So we've got a picture in there. Now let's do some text. Okay. Um, I'm going to go across and we're going to say uh, date. Yep. And if I tab, it'll go to the next cell oh, nice. and time. Okay. All right. And then down here, I'm going to put the names of our seminars. So I'm going to do a real tour and uh, go down here. And I'm going to do tips and tricks. Okay. Excellent. And then I'm going to, I'll just quickly fill in some dates. Uh, 6th at noon. Oops. Sorry. At 2. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just to get some data in there. Now you can see. Oh, look! I want to. I probably want to center those. Right. Or maybe I want to do them at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Table properties. Uh, right. I'm gonna do the bottom. I think that would look nicer. Oh yeah. Right. Yep. And then the these I I want to keep there. And <clears throat> I think these look good. Yeah. They're kind of centering. Great. 
So that's how you'd put something in. And let's say I want to keep, I want to color these cells. Now I showed you before you went to table and table properties to color cells, but you can also, some of the features are going to be on your toolbar, which oh, is nice. okay, that's nice. And you know, it's a little bit different depending if you're looking at a Mac or a PC or what version of, you know, different things you have or how big you have your window up and what oh, you're right. going to see here. Right. I noticed um, on another video, actually, I was watching doing research, um, his didn't just show up here. It said more. Oh, right. And then they clicked on it, and then they were down there. Because the screen was narrower. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So if you don't see all your tools, right. widen out your, your window. Hunt or around. look at more. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hunt around. I'm going to go ahead and make this purple. Nice. Right? And then uh, and then you could do your, your text formatting, you know, just like sure. you normally do. Maybe I want this text to be white. Okay, cool. Okay? Nice. So that's showing that. Now, oh... Wait a minute. I have date and time. I want to show location, too. Oh, so do we have to start over? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my cursor here in this cell, and then I'm going to do. I'm going to add a column. Okay. So I go under table, and here you see I can insert a column to the left of where I am, where I have my cursor, or to the right. Okay. And I could do the same with rows. Oh, nice. So like I said, when you created your column, you know, think pre-think about it, or your table, Think about how many you know cells you want, tables and rows, but you can also go back and add stuff. So Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and insert a column right. Okay. There you go. Oh, nice. And I'm going to say location. Okay, great. Right. And then you know I would enter a location. I'm just going to type in anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. So that is a nice simple table. I think it looks great if we zoom back out on our page. Nice. Yeah, it's nice having a table in there. Right. You can really do do a lot of stuff with your tables to show stuff. I'm going to do 90, I guess. To, yeah, they add a lot of stuff. Um, so this would be a, like a simple table, right? Right. Some other things that you could do, um, let's say, um, and this won't make sense for this table, but you also can merge cells and rows. Oh. So to do that, you would just select two or whatever you want to do, and then you come up here, table, and I'm going to merge the cells. Oh, they become together yep. in one. Of course, that makes no sense for our table. Well, right, but you could say time slash location if you wanted to you format could. that you together. Could. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do undo. Okay, okay. So okay. merging cells. That's so you cool. could merge them. Oh, wait. I would, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to merge those again because I'm going to show you. I merge them. Well, wait. I don't want those merged. You can unmerge them. Oh, perfect. Yep. You kind of got to remember what cells you've merged. You've merged. Right? Oh, and you notice it didn't, you know, put my type oh, of course back it over here. <laughs> so undo might have been better. If you can do undo. But, but if, if it's, it's later. been doing work, right? right? Yeah. If it's later. Right. So this is a nice, simple table to show you. Um, but you can also get a little bit um, jazzier and okay. put page layout using tables. You can page layout in docs? Yes. Let okay, me show let's you. see how. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open a document that I've created that has more of a flyer look. It's the same information, um, but it's a little, you know, fancier. Okay. Right? So I'm going to open this one here. Oh, right. wow. Yeah. How is that? A, that's a table? That's a table. <laughs> yep. Wow. It looks yeah. great. So the way... Um, here, the table doesn't have its rules on, so let me uh, select the table and put its rules back on so you can see better Okay, what's going on. okay. Oh, oh I see. Okay, so you can see here's the, it's a table. So you spend a little time with your tables. Um, you can see here, like, I've merged these cells into one big one. And, and that one, too, yeah. on the right. And often I use um, a cell for page layout. Like this, I could put in a separate cell from the this text here because I wanted to control where it sat on the page. Oh, so it was cool. easier to do with a cell. Once you start working with them, it becomes more intuitive. You can really use them to, you know, put information where you want, like, here over here is the RSVP, you know. Right, you could never do, you couldn't have done that in a regular doc file. No, right. No. And this works great, um, this is more of a flyer type, but this works great for, um, you know, like newsletter, newsletters. Like I have a teacher friend who does a little newsletter on um, what they're covering in class, and she does a simple two-column, you know, 
a table right. for the whole page, and she does her text, and she'll insert pictures along the way. And Cute. It's really nice and yeah. simple and easy to use. And for those that don't have a page layout program or don't want to learn how to use them, because they right. can be really complicating. Oh, right. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is awesome. So you can create nice, fancy little things, or you can, you know, you know, stay with, you know, putting tables right in your documents. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.